Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us now pray the prayer to St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. The 2023 season of creation prayer. Creator of all, from your communion of love, life sprang forth like a mighty river, and the whole cosmos came into being. On this earth of overflowing love, the word was made flesh and went forth with the life-giving waters, proclaiming peace and justice for all creation. You call human beings to till and keep your garden. You place us in the right relationship with each creature, but we fail to listen to the cries of the earth and the cries of the most vulnerable. We broke with the flowing communion of love and sinned against you by not safeguarding the condition for life. We lament the loss of our fellow species and their habitats. We grieve the loss of human cultures along with the lives and livelihoods that have been displaced or perished. And we ache at the sight of an economy of death war and violence that we have inflicted on ourselves and on the earth. Open our ears to your creative, reconciling and sustaining word that calls to us through the book of scripture and the book of creation. Bless us once again with your life-giving waters so that the creator spirit may let justice and peace flow in our hearts and overflow into creation. Open our hearts to receive the living waters of God's justice and peace and to share it with our suffering brothers and sisters, all creatures around us and all creation. Bless us to walk together with all people of goodwill so that the many streams of the living waters of God's justice and peace may become a mighty river all over the earth. In the name of the one who came to proclaim goodness to all creation, Jesus Christ, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us begin our Eucharist celebration with our priest beside the Reverend Father, who said, Wow. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, in the gospel, Jesus teaches us to help our erring brothers and sisters and lead them to conversion and reform. Let us pray that the Lord may soften our hearts and fill them with patience and love. And may the Holy Spirit dispose the hearts of our erring brethren 
to our patient urgings and concern admonitions. So let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have made a sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most hideous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You, son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. 
When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die. And you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way. The wicked shall die for his guilt, but I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. Here today, oh, hear his voice. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be, are summed up in this saying, namely, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us 
the message of reconciliation. Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew glory to you O Lord Jesus said to his disciples if your brother should commit some wrong against you go and point out his fault but keep it between the two of you if he listens to you you have won your brother over if he does not listen however summon another so that every case may stand on the word of two or three witnesses. If he ignores them, refer it to the church. If he ignores even the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. I assure you, whatever you declare bound on earth shall be held bound in heaven. And whatever you declare loosed on earth shall be held loosed in heaven. Again, I tell you, if two of you join your voices on earth to pray for anything whatever, it shall be granted you by my Father in heaven. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in their midst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So my dear brothers and sisters, Tayo, we belong to the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, the church founded by Christ on Peter, on a rock. And uh, for this, this church, like the apostles, who have their own good traits and examples, to be imitated, they also have lost their own sins. And this only shows to us that the church is a community of saints and sinners. Hindi natin may pagkakaila na because even the church is holy, our holiness doesn't mean that we are sinless. We are holy because the Lord is holy, who is calling us to holiness. Siya yung ating sinusundan. Siya yung ating pinagbabasihan. We are trying to become holy like Him to be configured to Jesus. So my dear brothers and sisters, and for that, for that reason, each of us would commit uh, misgivings. May maaari tayong magkamali, makalimot, matigas ang ulo, at ang puso. But the church is calling us to be reconciled with her. Because our Lord wants us to live in oneness, in unity. Yung pagkakaiba-iba natin ng ating kalooban, yon ang naghihiwalay sa atin. Kung may kanya-kanya tayong kagustuhan na hindi naman nakaayon sa kalooban ng ating Panginoon, Sinasabi nga, the Father and I are one. And Jesus wants us to be one with, with, with our God and with, in, one, in, in unity with one another. And therefore, the call for us to live in love is a mandate to love one another as He has loved us. Kung meron tayong mga pagkukulang, 
may nagkakamali sa atin, it is our responsibility to correct the faults, his faults. Tawagin natin yung pansin because we care. And for, the, for that uh, matter, nasabi nga sa atin ng ating ebanghelyo, pag may nagkamali, kayong dalawa muna mag-usap. Pero, how are we going to correct the person? Uh, hindi naman lagi nating i-correct yung ka- kaapuan natin. Not everything is worth correcting. Or else, baka lumabas naman tayong self-righteous. Now, we are all knowing na we are better than the others. Yung mga minor mistakes, hindi na natin yung pinapansin. Pero, kung talagang nanganganib na ang kaligtasan ng tao, nanganganib na ang pagkakaisa ng simbahan, and that is the time that we have to speak as, as people who receives the function of being a prophet. Bahagi ng pagiging propeta natin, yung sabihin natin, yung mga maganda at hindi rin maganda sa ating paligid. Kaya nga, how are we going to correct the person? Of course, we have to correct with evidence and not because of our own opinion. Nakanalaman na natin ito yung nagwa-viral na balita. Yung nakasakay sa kotse, nakabanggaan niya yung bisikleta. At dito, lumabas yung driver ng kotse, binatukan, minura yung cyclist, at nagbunot pa ng barel. Pero, Tama nga naman na mag-correct ng, ng pagkakamali. Pero who is at fault? We, are, we have our own opinion. We have the right to have our own opinion. Pero hindi lahat ng opinion ay maaaring totoo. Sapagkat maaaring yung opinion natin ay based on bias or discrimination or it is only coming from our emotions. Galit na galit. Kaya yung mali, gagawin tama. Kaya lumalabas dito yung cyclist pang may kasalanan. Siya na nga yung biktima, minamanipula ng isa. Na siya na nga ang may kasalanan. Ay, siya pang lumalabas na nagpapaawa. Na siya yung inapi. Buti na lamang, nakagip ito ng, ng CCTV at nakikita ang tunay na nangyari. At yun yung wisdom, kapag nag-uusap ang dalawang tao, ay nangangailangan din naman na para maging maayos ang lahat, na mayroong magdo-document, mayroong, mayroong sasaksi kung ano yung pinag-usapan, or else, magkakanya-kanya lamang ito ng, ng interpretation. At kung walang sasaksi, yung mga nangyayari ay maaring maiba. Kaya nga sa atin, my dear brothers and sisters, we have to correct with evidence because we stand with Christ. Ang ating tinitindigan dito yung katotohanan and we don't embarrass the person hindi dahil siya ay nagkamali. We have the right to shame the person. We have this fraternal correction because we love, we care for that person. Kaya nga, we have to think of ways that would not really offend the person being corrected. Yung mga phrases, yung mga sentences na gagamitin natin could be in the form of a 
question. Ano ba yung pwedeng gawin? Ano yung mga dapat na iwasan? Kaya nga, meron yung mga pangyayari sa, sa ating simbahan. Say for example, may mga lumalapit sa pare. Father, bakit hindi na binabasa yung mga intentions sa misa? Eh, itong itong uh, issue na ito ay matagal nang uh, binigyan ng uh, kasagutan ng simbahan. Panahon pa ni Cardinal Sin nung tayo nasa Manila pa. Sinasabi ni Cardinal Sin, hindi binibili ang misa. Yung mga faithful ay nagbibigay ng donation para sa maintenance ng simbahan. Kaya kung hindi man naririnig yung pangalan o yung intention, it doesn't mean na it, this intention is forgotten or neglected. Kasama na yan sa, sa ating pagdarasal. Pero sabi niya, pero Father, pwede ba namin may paalam sa community na kami nagpapatasal din. Baka pwede rin isama sa dasal ng mga tao. Sinasabi nga sa atin, Brother, pray for me. Sister, pray for me. I'm praying for you. Naririnig natin na we're asking for prayers. And we are, we want to be assured na people are praying also for us. May punto rin naman pala Oo nga naman. And so, this is a suggestion. Sabi nga niya, sa ibang simbahan, hindi nga binabasa, na, hindi na nga binababasa at narinig ng mga tao. But, the intentions are listed and being posted doon sa screen. Kaya, alam namin at alam ng mga tao na we have something to pray for. Kaya, may punto rin naman ng bawat isa. So we can do that. Na yung ibang ginagawa na nga natin ito sa Facebook, doon nang natin ilalagay yung mga intentions. Pero hindi naman lahat ay nagbabasa ng Facebook. Kaya uh, futile yung effort na ino na to reach out everybody. So we can do that. Now we can post the the intentions on the screen before the Mass. So, dear, my, my dear brothers and sisters, these conversations, this dialogue could lead to a win-win situation. Walang napapahiya, walang nasasaktan, hindi, hindi hinahanap kung sino ang tama, kundi ano ang tama. Hindi sinasabing ako ay mas nakakaalam, kundi ano ang dapat nating malaman. Because we love, we care. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is the church. A church to be reconciled. And uh, for the sinners, there is a call to be reintegrated as long as he is sorrow, uh, he has this sorrow for his or her sins. Na to the um, to the effect na there is a need for confession. Kaya, my dear brothers and sisters, narinig natin the keys is the keys the key is given to Saint Peter by the Lord Jesus. That the meaning of that is he, he was given the authority. Kung ano yung kakalagay niya sa lupa, kakalagay niya sa langit. Yung kanyang tatalian sa lupa ay tatalian sa langit. Kaya mayroong authority ang simbahan na gumawa ng mga policies, ng mga, ng mga batas to secure the unity of the faithful. Kaya nga mayroon tayo nakikilalang excommunication. And this 1983 Code of Canon ay sinasabi sa atin na mayroong automatic excommunication. 
kahit na hindi ito i-pronounce ng Santo Papa, sa atin lamang ay atin ang hinahatulan ng ating sarili ng excommunication. And what are these factors that would lead us to automatic excommunication? Yung una, yung mga apostates, yung mga heretics, yung mga schematics na doon din naman ay yung dinedesecrate yung Eucharist, nandun din naman yung mga tao na mayroon mas mga intentions sa Santo Papa and physically attacks the Pope. At naroon din naman yung pare na nasa confession, confessional box, ay nagsusulisit mula sa iba na, na ma-violate ang Six Commandments. Yung Six Commandments na adultery, yung fornication. Kaya yung pare ay hindi rin pwedeng magsalita Ilabas yung mga narinig sa confessional box. Hindi pwede niya i-chismis, hindi niya pwede i-discuss na specifically ay nakikilala yung taong nagkumpisa nito. That is the ground for excommunication sa pare. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, narito rin yung isang obispo na koordinahan niya yung ibang pare para maging obispo din without the mandate of the Pope. Ang obispo ay mag-oordain ng, is ng isang obispo na mayroon pahintulat ng Santo Papa and together with the other bishops around. And that would express the solidarity the unity of the church with the unity with the Pope. And, and the last thing is the, the those who are accomplices who are, needed, who are needed to commit an action that has an automatic excommunication penalty. Magagawa ito ng mga, mga taong mayroong sapat na kaalaman ngunit pilit na binaviolate ang uh, ang mga katuruan ng ating simbahan voluntarily, intention, intentionally na wina-violate ang katuruan ng simbahan. At sino yung mga individual na yon? Sila yung 16 years old and pataas. At sila yung nakakaalam ng kanilang action and they at a, and they chose uh, what actions to be made. Kaya nga sa ating mga kapatid, Excommunication is a medicinal penalty of the church. Yung ating binyag is permanent. Hindi na nga hulga na kapag na-excommunicate ka, hindi ka nakatoliko. If you are excommunicated, you are being reminded. You are, your conscience are being formed or try to be awakened na magsisi at magbalik loob sa simbahan at sa Diyos. Kaya nga, my dear brothers and sisters, the church is a community of sinners and saints. Sabi nga, yung maraming isda ay nahuli, lahat sila ay nahuli ng sama-sama at ito hindi mo malalaman kung sino ang mali, ang sino ang tama, sino ang masama at maputi. Katulad din naman ng Panginoon na inibitahan ang lahat ng tao sa pagkainan. The good and the bad. It is for us to have our choice to follow the Lord, to follow His call to, to holiness. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is the church that we have. Kailangan natin ng magpagpaalala sa bawat isa. But we have to walk to, to, be, to, to walk together na tayo ay tumahak sa liwanag ng ating kaligtasan patungo sa ating Panginoon. God bless us.
we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of, of heaven and earth, of all, of all things, things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the, the only, begotten only begotten Son of God, God born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God, God from true God, God begotten, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living in the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God, our Father, is generous and patient with us despite our sins and failings. He wants us to be the same to our brothers and sisters in, in sin and error. With confidence, we shall pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Give the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons a heart that reaches out to sinners so that they may be effective ministers of reconciliation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all of us gathered here in the Eucharist See the wisdom in the words of St. Paul today. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Move judges, soldiers, and policemen, and those working in rehabilitation centers to temper justice with love and to always respect the inviolable rights of persons, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May sinners and those who stray from the, right, from the right path come to their senses and ask pardon from the Lord and be reconciled with the Christian community, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the sick, the elderly, and the homebound See God's comfort and consolation in the compassion of those who care for them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear our prayers, heal our troubled consciences and wounded hearts, and unite us as family in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once as it was so, they grew and yielded all the ground and gathered all for men. The wine by your cup was voice of a Symbol of your blood. God seed me your body, our bread of life, of that holy thing. 
For us, the bread of life. With the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of life. Share our humanity. Goodness, we have this wine to offer, your fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will be kind to us, our spiritual friend. Lord God, we ask you to receive us in our need. The seeds and vines of love. Pray, my brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty. And by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer. To live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. So, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, so we have the courage to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Amen. your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Where can I run and hide from you? What could I ever do? Where we were? Oh, yeah. 
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Our second collection is for the Social Services Fund. Thank you for your generosity. The Couples for Christ is inviting couples to join the CFC, the Christian Life Program, for eight Saturdays, starting this September 16 at 7 p.m. at the Maria Cabeza Hall, P.S. Cruz Chapel. Be partners in the growth of our parish. Become a Balik Handog donor. Your donations help finance parish activities and defray expenses, especially the chapels in our emerging communities. Offerings are being collected every first Sunday of the month. Balik Handog envelopes are available at the parish office. The Parish Pastoral Council for Responsible Voting, or the PPCRB, the national parish-based political but non-partisan lay movement that works assiduously for clean, honest, accurate, meaningful, and peaceful elections. In line with this, the PPCRV is in need of volunteers for the upcoming Barangay and Sangguniang Kabataan elections on October 30, 2023. Volunteers must be 15 years old and above a resident of Almanza Dos, and is not affiliated with any political parties, government, and LGUs. If interested, you may accomplish a registration form at the parish office or online through our Facebook page, Holy Family Parish, PPCRB. Experience a weekend together, focus in our relationship, your relationship as a couple to other people, and your relationship as a couple to God. Join the Catholic Engaged Encounter Free Cana Weekend scheduled in person on October 28 and 29 at the Nazareth Hall, Holy Family Parish, and online via Zoom on November 25 and 26. Interested couples may register at the parish office. Marriage bonds. John Anthony R. Morales of Rebecca Dulu is getting married to Denise Marie Oliva at the Holy Family Parish on September 28, 2023. Michael F. Pimentel of T.S. Cruz is getting married to Perlin Paderogao at the Holy Child, Je Holy Child Jesus Parish, Buena Vista Marinduque on September 30, 2023. If you know of any reason why any of these weddings should not take place, please inform the parish office immediately. Thank you. Please all rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Kindly bow down for the blessing. 
Bestow pardon and peace, O Lord, we pray upon your faithful, that they may be cleansed from every offense and serve you with untroubled hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. O Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us. O Blessed Saint Joseph, pray for us. Thank you and good morning. Thank you. 